Hey guys, it's Brownie from Manhattan, New York. So I am painting the kids' room, a DIY. I'm doing it by myself. I am kind of exhausted. Um, started last night. I went and I bought the paint and stuff, came home. It started 10 o'clock last night. I'm almost done because I need it to be dry by Thursday when the crib comes so I can set up the crib. This is the paint I'm using. This is the interior high gloss enamel, ultra pure right burr. Ultra Plus, Ultra. So if you guys remember, I use a Burr Premium Plus Interior Satin Enamel, and that's the beautiful shine that it has. You guys can see that's a really beautiful shine it has. So to me, it seems like it has high gloss, but this white has high gloss. So I have the white right here too. You guys can see this wall right here. I started this patch. Um. This is number 87. This is the Ultra White Pure White 8750. And I'm just using it in the kids' room and the hallway right now. So I finished up. So as you guys can see, see I'm doing the ceiling right now. I kind of had a little spill, but I am super exhausted. Um, I just turned 18 weeks today, and I'm super fat. Um, my sides are three inches each right now. Um, from the beginning of my belly to my actual back. Um, I'm gonna be finding out what I'm having on the 27th. I've poured some paint. As you guys can see, and I've attached a broomstick so that, because I'm doing the ceiling right now. Um, and I've been using the knife to, like, mix the paint and open the can. Because I don't have a flathead screwdriver. I only have the screwdriver with the four, like, the regular screw four parts so sitting and i'm rocking because i'm super exhausted so um as you guys can see i did this wall and i did it last night and it was dry by this morning so i just put back up the, the hallway decoration there so yeah did this wall over this wall was beige um so it's turning from this so as you guys can see i have the white then into the beige so i'm gonna finish up the rest of the house i'm leaving the ceiling like this because i really like the ceiling and i like that it has my own personal touch to it because i did it myself so as you guys can see um i need to find a way to get rid of all these spiders before the baby comes because i don't plan on spraying chemicals around my child um so right now this is where i'm at I just finished doing this wall right here. I just finished doing this side right here. I started on the ceiling. I did that wall last night. I did that um, part just now. And I'm halfway done with the ceiling, as you guys can see. Um, boy. Um, I just finished doing this wall as well. If you guys remember, it was blue. In my other videos it was completely blue so i just finished doing this wall i like the fact that it dries really fast like it dries down like in half an hour um i did two coats on each wall um so that's basically what i've been doing two coats on each wall um so i'm gonna be finishing up the ceiling but i have i'm gonna finish up the ceiling and then um yeah so this is what the room looks like right now while I'm finishing painting up. Um, I bought the um, turpentine to peel this paint off of the floor. And a lot of spots over there, but not much. Did really good. Um, I'm gonna be steam mopping, steam mopping the floor. I'm just like really doing everything, getting this room ready like this is total nursery recreation and like press for time because um i kind of procrastinated procrastinated and today's sunday um sunday the sunday the 11th and the baby's crib is arriving on the 15th so that's five days from now and i want the room to be dry um last night because it's so much older I had to sleep with the windows open as you guys can see it's like 30 degrees in new york so i had to sleep with the windows open or else because it's too chemically so 
right now I'm just sitting down for a little bit I'll show you guys the finished result when I'm done but I'm just sitting down for a little bit because I'm super exhausted right now I'm gonna wash off this knife as you see I have you can see I have paint paint on this Not bad for all that painting I've been doing. I'm just rinsing off the knife right now and I've been using. It's actually with warm water. You know, like rinsing off the paint. Um, if you guys are doing a DIY paint job at home, you gotta make sure to wash your roller or else it will be like crusty and like unworkable with. So, have to remember to keep the roll of two. Like, that's the rule. When it comes to painting. Um, yeah. I find that this is like really soothing. This is like really, really soothing to me. So you guys can see the difference. Um, this was like really, really soothing to me. Really soothing and comforting to like just paint just take my mind off of so much shit that my mind is on um if i do so basically i picked up this i don't i don't know how much paint is in there let me see how much paint is in there so i can tell you guys oh see it has one hour dry time and two hour recoat time so you're supposed to put it on for an hour and then come back again and recoat it in two hours but i just added two coats immediately um see apply when air surface temperatures are between stir paint occasionally into mixed containers of the same product to ensure the color and sheen is uniform um, it says it uses high nap roller, which is nylon or polyester or brush that is ha that can be used with an airless sprayer. So you don't. So you guys know like when you're brushing, when you're painting with a brush, you spray it with like an oil, like an oil sheen, and it makes the paint go on even better. And here it says it may um certain paint colors if it's underneath it, it might like require two coats, darker colors. Darker colors may require additional dry time and for cooler temperatures, humidity, <coughs> prolonged drying time. <coughs> it says after four weeks, the um, paint may be cleaned with a mild non-abrasive liquid detergent. It says dry paint from mildewing. Um, and it says do not something. I can't read what it says but it says do not something right now i have a quarter of container left and i just poured out another quarter right here because i had half i just poured out a quarter here so this is a quarter of paint in the thing right now so yeah so i'll get back to you guys when i am when i'm done painting um for the roller set, I just picked up that roller set right there. Um, I went to Home Depot. It says eight piece professional set. It was sixteen dollars. It comes with two nine inch rollers. Um, comes with two nine inch rollers. It comes with a brush. You guys can see that. Um, yeah, this is the eight piece professional set. So I'm freaking tired, y'all. As I told y'all before, so it comes with two high quality shed free rollers one high quality trim brush one wood handle pro frame one metal rolling tray one tray liner one shed free mini roller frame and that's the eight pieces that comes in there uh, um so it's nine and three eighths and this is what it came with so it just comes with that wood part and this thing and then the roller comes like this. And then I have a smaller roller that's already attached to the other part and a brush. You guys can see the paintbrush. So I'll be using the paintbrush for like this small detail down there. I'm thinking I'm gonna paint down there like the bottom trim. I'm thinking I'm, I wanna paint the bottom trim a different color. But for now, I just want to get the white up there. So once I get the white up there, if I want to um, 
that is the trim you guys in case you guys wonder what the trim is this is the trim like here this part right here from here to here is the trim um that part right there just that part right there not the actual ceiling is the trim so i'm thinking i want to add a different color to the trim but first i want to be finished with the white and get it up and get it done so i have to get back to the room because i don't want the paint to stick on me and get stale on me um see you guys can see that that's immediately getting like stale and you don't want that so oh, i don't know if you guys can see that staleness so it's starting to get stale because i put it out of this metal dark container and that's what keeps the paint fresh so i have to just like roll the brush through and finish up this ceiling finish up the ceiling and yeah finish up this whole room today so um right now i'm gonna finish up the paint in this container and once i finish up the paint in this container that i've already poured out then i'm gonna sit down again and take another little break because right now i am tired like i am really exhausted tired so i really want to make the, the the room a uniform color for all my kids as you guys know i don't know what i'm having yet but i already have a 10 year old son and a nine year old daughter so i want to make this i want to make the um children's room a uniform color for all three of my children and it's a children's room because it's not really a nursery because I have a 10-year-old and a 9-year-old. They're not toddlers, so it's not considered a nursery. And then um, I'm creating half of it to be a nursery, which is really kind of unfair to my two kids. Because I'm literally turning half the room into a nursery, making their space smaller. Because now I have to split myself between three people. So, yeah, well, six people because them and their fathers. So, yeah, <laughs> but I kind of forget about myself at times. But, yeah, I've been really, really exhausted and really, really flat. So, this is the belly. This is the belly today. This is a, this is a belly pic today. Like, super fat, sleeping very badly at night. I just toss and turn all night. I used to just sleep in like one like dead log position. And now I'm like tossing and turning. Literally like look who's here guys to say hi. <laughs> now I'm like tossing and turning throughout the whole night. Like literally I turn about eight to nine times a night in different different positions because I that I can never stay comfortable. Um, the the I've been having contractions, not only contractions, but the pressure of wherever when the baby lay down on that spot, then I have to just keep on keep on turning. So um, yeah, been having the best of time because in the end I'm gonna have a beautiful baby that belongs to me. <laughs> it's part of me. It's in my body, my child. So I'm having a beautiful time, but yeah, I'm having a painful time. So thumbs up this video, share it, like it, subscribe to my channel to stay updated with me and my life. Be blessed, I'll do the same. Again, this is Bonnie from Manhattan, New York. Mwah.